definitely a hundred percent it is by far the best investment I suppose for me, I, I've always been a generally fit person. I always wanted to be a fit. I always was, put it that way, in my teens, my twenties. Um, and then life kind of takes over. You have a family, you're at a stage where you're growing your career or your business. And before you know it, you're at, you're, you're at a stage where you are in your forties. Um, and your mindset, your mindset does mind change. And you start thinking about the future and you think about your health. So I suppose over the last few years, I have been really going at training um, and trying to get the weight down because I knew it was up, um, but I'd hit a wall and I was still pushing and training and training and training and I was injuring myself. I was getting joint pain, everything. and I, I had just hit a wall completely and utterly. And then it, I was just trying to figure out what to do or where to go or how to take it forward. So. I started to watch all the stuff that you and Kerry put up and it just seemed interesting and more and more it, it was just a constant flow of information which was great um, and kept it up there so yeah I did I, I contacted you on the back of that and then went forward with it. It's, it was down to the training and um, I was as I said, I, I was actually taking a grooving at one stage to manage my pain. And although it was managing it, um, nothing was happening, nothing was changing. It was just pure frustration. Um, and again, I, I, I work, it's a very progressive organization and they do um, management training. And I had done that, but I, I come to a realization that something was out of kilter. And something wasn't sitting right with me and to me it was kind of a work-life balance um, and then the more I started reading your posts it just it resonated with me um, that I needed to do something and that there was there was a process here that listen I, I've done all my own avenues I've taken as far as I, I knew at that stage I had done everything I can do and um, so I said no um, give it a go contact you in the first instance and uh, just take it from there so yeah absolutely glad I did though so yeah from the outset it, it, it's, it's, it is a leap of faith um, it really is and it, it's into the unknown and you're kind of wondering what it is but as, as I watched more and more of the videos and I, I saw more of the testimonials that people were coming back with um, I could just see myself, a little bit of myself in each one of those people. Um, I think from week one, we had met and we'd had our chat and you know, the group chats were coming up and I was kind of going, again, it's kind of a certain apprehension to it. You don't know what it is. Am I going into group therapy here or what is it? But, and it's it's not like people are going in and crying and it's just a fairly, it's just the most natural thing in the world. It's like, it's like going in the pub with a few guys and having a chat. Um, and that's that's the way each each of the group calls were held. There was no negativity. There was questions, but the support was there, um, and no pressure at all. And I just thought that was absolutely brilliant, and I absolutely loved that first call. And um, as each call went on, uh, they've just grown more and more positive. And watching the other guys' journeys as well kind of brings you on as well. And you know and, and and as for our calls you never you never pushed you were always there to just ask a few questions to ask for myself and as i went on i i, I kind of knew that no one would get to decide my limitations expect except me as as it went on in general i'm a big person i am sporty but i was big so on the outset when we started this and my chest measurement was 129 centimetres. Um, as of today, that's down to 112. Um, so I just, I, I can't get over it. Like waist, again, at the start was 120, it's down to 106. Um, hips, 108, down to 102. So I feel it and I, 
again, when I think back at the outset, I said after week two or so, I was starting to feel my collarbone. Um, and I thought that was really strange because I was heavily built up here. Um, but now with my running, which I, I love to run, um, I feel so much lighter on the treadmill running. Um, walking, I feel lighter. I feel, I feel lighter in my arms just moving them. So it's a hell of a lot and it, it really means a lot because yeah, the, I think to the future, like things like type 2 diabetes and things like that. And, they're the things I don't want. And now the, the blueprint has given me the program to do it. So even though it's the end of the process, it's it's something that's ingrained in me now. Um, and I will take forward. I suppose health-wise, um, I feel healthier now than I did in my 20s when I was in college. Fitness-wise, I am fitter than it was, I believe, actually, in my 20s. I am, like I said, I love training. I'm the person who's down at the gym at six in the morning, and that's just me, that's the way I tick. Everything has improved for me. All the pain I had is gone. Um, I think what, from the outset, what you said to me, and I learned was the, pro the whole process is about slowing down to speed up and understanding that and that's exactly what I did I slowed down and you always say stop eating yourself up and I did so fitness and health is just phenomenal now and um, one of the obsessions I had and I know we discussed it at one stage I is my sleep and I talked about I, I did not that tracked my sleep it kind of rated it from a minus 10 to plus 10 and within three weeks of starting the modules I was hitting tens and that had never happened before ever and again it was down to the simple changes it was the simple changes in my diet my mindset it's been everything that everything and more that i thought it could be um, initially it was a weight thing and a fitness thing and seeing how it goes but the the, the actual blueprint and the module have have done so much more um, in, in some instances, it's probably been better than the weight loss um, for me. Um, and they do say your mindset, and my mindset has changed around work. Um, in work, I know my value now, and I probably would say that that had been lost, that you were just going with the humdrum, getting the day done, moving on to the next one. And my family are aware of it. My, my wife and kids, they have changed. Um, my wife joined a gym. She doesn't need to join the gym. I love it now. I love the fact that she does it um, and that we get to train together so much. So family and work have all really benefited from this. You're kind of going, do I do this? Do I not do this? And do I invest in myself? And it is at a point where you realize you do have to invest in yourself. Like you've, you've invested in everything else for the last, whether it's your mortgage, your family, your car, whatever, you've invested in all of that. And what use is all of that going forward if you're not around, you know? Um, so for anybody doing it, do it. it it's take that leap of faith, come in, um, invest in yourself. And I know other people have said that as well. Um, it's a bit of a cliche, but that is the truth about it um, but come in with the realization that this is for you and for you to do and um, you're the only person that can do it at the end of the day i think if you could put this stuff in a bottle and, and sell it you'd be a very rich man